going on guys? Welcome to another video. Getting ready to go to the gym now, but before I do guys, I wanna share with you guys the way I've been squatting for the last couple of months. Now I used to see powerlifters squat using this method a lot, and I was wondering what the difference was between one method or the other method. So I decided to try it out and see for myself what the difference were and what I felt was the best method. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. All right guys, so I started off with a few warm up sets as usual, which you guys are going to see during this video. And the main reason why I started low bar squatting is because I wanted to see what the difference was between low bar squatting and high bar squatting. So let me start off by telling you guys what the difference is between both methods. The main difference between both methods is the bar placement. When squatting with a high bar, you rest the bar on your traps and this in turn encourages a upright position throughout the whole movement. On the other hand, when you use a low bar method, you rest the bar on your shoulder blades. This will require your shoulders to be flared out a bit more, which will cause you to tilt forward. When using the low bar method, the bar is placed about 2.5 to 5 centimeters under the trap. So I personally was familiar with this method because of power lifters. I often saw them place the bar on their shoulder blades instead of on their traps and I wonder why they were doing this, what was the reason behind this. One of the reasons for bar placement can be the way you're built. Maybe one method feels a lot better and a lot more natural than the other method. So you might prefer the one on the other. Knowing which method suits you the best will make sure that you're performing the exercise in a more natural way and a, in a way that will benefit you a lot more. Now the second reason why you might want to use a low bar method is because you typically can lift a bit more weight with this method. But why is that? Why are you able to lift more weight just by placing the bar a bit lower on your back? Well, this actually has to do with the amount of force that your joints need to put in order to be able to get up from the squatting position. While the high bar squat requires your knee joints to produce a lot of force in order for you to get up from the squatting position, when using the low bar method, you distribute that amount of force between your knees and your hips. And also because you're placing the bar lower on your back, you're also shortening the distance that the bar needs to travel in order to get back up. I'm gonna link an article down below where they use an analogy which makes it a lot more easier in order to understand why you can actually lift more weight. So if you guys want and are in the mood to reading something then go ahead and click it down below. But that is basically it guys. That is why you are able to lift a bit more weight when using the low bar method. So when I decided to switch to the low bar method I also wanted to see the amount of stress that I put on my knees while performing the exercise. And one of the things that I immediately noticed was that I was not putting as much stress on my knees as I used to when performing the exercise with a high bar method. I also felt my hamstring, glutes and lower back being targeted a bit more than with the regular high bar method. Now this does not mean that my quads weren't being activated at all, it just means that they are not as involved in the movement. Next to that, because of that tilt forward, I was feeling like my chin was being forced down. It almost felt like I was holding something between my chin and my neck. This does not mean that it is uncomfortable, it just was uh, really noticeable. All in all guys, I really enjoyed trying out the low bar method guys. I mean, I even tried out a PR during this day. I really feel like my strength has gone up and I do enjoy squatting a lot more performing this method. Now, one thing that I didn't like was the amount of pressure that I felt on my elbow. And since my elbow is already like messed up, uh, I mean, it, it probably isn't the best thing in the world for me to you be doing this uh, this method of squatting. But in the time that I tried it out, I really liked it. And uh, if you guys want to try it out, then I would highly recommend you guys to try it out. And this way, see for yourself which uh, um, method is the best for you, all right? And uh, whether you, you like this method or you don't. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It really took me a lot of time to edit it. So I hope you guys really liked it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you tried both methods and which one you guys prefer, all right? I really like the low bar method because I felt stronger from the first time I tried it, but I do feel it puts a lot of stress on my elbow so in order to get better guys I need to step back and uh, let my elbow rest for a bit. So with that being said guys I want to finish off this video right here if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below alright so I'll see you soon. Later guys.